The current study was conducted in relational mind research project where the aim is to understand how we attune to others with our whole being, so also on a physiological level. Uh, couple therapy provides a great opportunity to study what happens between several people when important and emotionally powerful issues are discussed together. This current study focuses on the beginning of couple therapy where we recorded sympathetic nervous system activity from all the participants uh, during the second couple therapy session. So there were four participants in each case, the couple and two therapists working as a pair. Electrodermal activity or uh, skin conductance was measured from all these people, so they were wearing electrodes on their non-dominant hand. Now, a rise in skin conductance means that the person's arousal level is going up. And if the skin conductance is decreasing, the person is becoming more relaxed. Most emotions tend to increase the level of skin conductance. Uh, skin conductance synchrony has been connected to different things depending on the participants of the study. So, for example, discussion of problematic issues, empathy or emotional reactivity. Uh, so we did not consider high synchrony to be good or bad uh, because this has not been studied during real couple therapy. Uh, so we analyzed 10 cases based on what is the level of synchrony between diets of the case, altogether 60 diets. Monte Carlo shuffling procedure was used uh, to compare actual synchrony to chance level synchrony and we found out that 85% of all diets showed statistically significant synchrony with each other. We thought that the couples would show the highest synchrony because of their shared relationship history, but they actually had the lowest synchrony. And what is more, the co-therapists had the highest synchrony. The synchrony between individual clients and therapists fell in between these two groups. We even found one couple whose concordance was actually slightly negative, and this is something uh, totally new from previous research. Another result was that the people synchronized to each other very rapidly, most often within just a few seconds. The co-therapist's high synchrony can be understood uh, by the professional and situational demands, and they also have a similar education, but uh, more research is needed to find out why couples have low synchrony and why a certain client may have more synchrony with a certain therapist. So it would be useful to look at uh, short moments of high and low synchrony from the video recording and find out what is going on during these moments. And this way we could learn when high synchrony seems to be beneficial or detrimental. Our overall message for clinicians is to uh, focus on the automatic bodily reactions in individual clients and between spouses and to try to be aware of their own bodily states because there might be a message there that gives new information about the couple's dynamics and problems.